Hello, hello, hello. Uh, a little preview, I guess. Uh, what are we going to be going over today? It's going to be a short video. It is a video about the underdog cardio draft that I just did. Still a little sweaty, a little glistening. It's okay. Don't look bad. You can see where I wear my headband right there. Anywho. Uh, what, am I, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. We're going to go over that team. See what I was thinking. Kind of go over my thoughts and... Just kind of review it a little bit. And uh yeah. Let's go ahead and check it out. It's again a short video. We're not I'm not trying to go long today. Today, uh it's 30, 10, 30. I, there are there's a lot of overtime at work this week, so I will be busy all week. I will be making videos this week, but it's just be a little bit busier. I forgot to turn my light on. Uh, and uh so yeah, let's uh go ahead and take a look at it. Pull up my Twitter on my actual page so I'm not going to look at myself. And I've got my picks on my slow drafts popping up like crazy right now. But so I was watching the ship chasing, you know, because my boy buying four is on it. Well, I, I watch ship chasing typically, anyways, but I typically watch the next day. But if my boy buying four is on and something, I got to support my Midwest crew. I mean, any way I can. All right, so, of course, we got the number two pick, so you know where we're going. Najee. Najee, easily. There's been reports about him losing some workload. If you read the rest of the report, it said, we're going to try. That's like, that's like them saying, yeah, yeah, we're not going to use our best player. Or we might, because there's no reason not to use them. And since we're in uh, – this is something I've been trying to build, not intentionally build, but it's been something I have been building. Our teams with the same buy. We've, uh, Spike Week has gone over it, and uh, Splash Play has gone over it. And I think Pete in his morning streams, his Monday morning drafts, my cat tried to jump on the desk, but did it jump on the desk? You, you can chill. Yeah, you, yeah, you can chill. Okay. And, uh, the per monster. Um, so yeah, it's like having a bunch of week nine buys, but still having like one player that's going to be there and maybe put like five points or whatever. Like I'm not looking for anything crazy. And then that's not going to be a highly correlated team. Like it's going to be a pretty random rare team. And then what I try to do is later in the stack or the, in the games, I tried stacking them with random players. For instance, I got Javante and, uh, Justin, and maybe the Seattle gets a big lead. They run the ball a whole bunch with Javante that week because he finally takes over the number one spot, you know. Obviously, Najee's going to get us there. You know, he's going to be the number one running back. And uh, and let's see here. Who else did I get? I didn't get any Chicago players. I was running out of players to get to correlate. I was just kind of just drafting, not really focusing on anything. I realized that I went – a double stack a little bit with uh, maybe Steelers get a big lead in week uh, uh, week 17 and Tyler Wallace and Rashad Bateman got to pop off a little bit. Who knows? Uh, they got a little stack with Trey Lance and Danny Gray, but I didn't put it with the game. Maybe it's just them two popping off. Defense staying strong. Maybe it's a shutout. That's what we can hope for. Maybe it's – too spread out of an offense that week that it didn't matter who you had from the Vegas Raiders. Um, and then I always I have a lot of TJ Hawkinson because they're playing the Bears and he kind of kind of destroys the Bears week seventeen or like in general he kind of kills the Bears so don't really need to stack the Bears. Also Chubb, uh, I think he's going to be like the other workhorse running back from the get go that helps. Until Javante t- just clearly takes over the like the role of the number one running back, and uh, I was gonna go uh, Keontae Ingram to balance out uh, Cordell Patterson for the week seventeen, but again I was running out of uh, I should have gone him instead of Kylan Wallace, but it is what it is. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm getting a lot of the same players, um, obviously because of who I'm drafting and kind of where I'm drafting certain guys. Uh, I did like the correlation pick with my 
Nico and Davis, always before ADP. I don't care. That's where they should be drafted. And that way I can still get the players that I want at the back end. Like, I tore, my last three picks were trying to be as correlated as possible. I didn't have forgot that I had drafted Rashad Bateman, so that one's a little messed up. You also have to understand I was running during this, so it wasn't like, perfect. Um, also, Rob Gronkowski, uncorrelated, but if he plays, he's a top five tight end. He's the same age as Travis Kelsey, and in fact, he took a year off. Am I crazy? Like, didn't he? Like, he, so he's like chill. Like, he's got a little, little, little bit more wiggle room than you would think that he does. He's had some knee injuries, whatever, but like, dude, he's a freak athlete. Anyways, um, I don't know much about Danny Gray, but everybody seems to be about Danny Gray. Um, a lot of good reports coming out of uh, Washington with Jahan Dotson. So I took the flyer on him. And I'm coming around on Drake London. I'm trying not to be too high on him, but it's getting harder and harder, especially when he falls past ADP. Oh, what else? Who else did I draft? Justin Ross, obviously with Javante. But, I mean, receipt rookies typically come around later. Who knows? Like, he might outperform if he's healthy. If these all these, like, injury reports are just bogus and he's finally like, playing healthy – even he sits the first eight weeks, you know what I mean? Like, and he's like got his feet back underneath him and he's like a stud player. Like he was in Clemson. Then it's a steal, you know, whatever pick you decide to get him at David Bell. Now he was a conundrum for me. Cause I already had Nick Chubb and I don't like, oh, didn't need to draft him. Could have went with, I don't know. I don't know. Could have went Devonte Parker. Like, who am I? Like, What's the big difference there? Like, honestly, like, let's take the upside with David Bell coming around later on. I know I've got a lot of – now I'm looking at it. I've got a lot of uh, young receivers that are probably going to pop off later than normal, but I have three stud running backs that may carry me in the beginning. But two crazy quarterbacks that, who knows, like their upside is very high. Like, Davis Mills is not, is not an athlete, but he's got Mechie, Brandon Cooks, Nico Collins, and Brevin Jordan – and the maniac behind him, Damian Pierce, like he's got plenty of weapons. Now they may not be top tier right now, but who knows? They might be twelfth round picks next year. Oh, hopefully, Cooks is a little bit before that. And then Trey Lance, like, yeah, I got Danny Gray to pair with him, but I don't think he's that great of a passer. But the rushing upside, I mean, he's a fourth running back, you know, so. That's, that was my thought process. I don't have a lot of uh, Trey Lance, but falling behind ADP, I didn't really have any like quarterbacks to pick from. I couldn't get Josh Allen. I couldn't at that point. Couldn't get Lamar. I don't really want Mariota too much. Um, Jahan Dotz. I guess I could have waited and gotten Carson Wentz. Can't get Herbert. Not taking Watson. Uh, took Davis. So and then Justin Ross like. She, he's uh, Mahomes is gone, Mars gone, and then I took Trey. So like, I correlated with as much as I could, obviously. But I think that kind of happens when you go robust running back right off the rip. So it is what it is. I just like this team in general. Like, say that my receivers aren't like studs right off the rip. If Rob and TJ play, you know. They're going to fill up that flex spot if one of my three remakes don't. So I'm kind of listening to start picking up later. And I'm assuming TJ or, or Rob will kind of simmer down a little bit towards the end. But TJ having that really nice matchup with the Bears. You also have to remember, was not focusing so <laughs> too hard. I was just like listening to the ship chasing. Um, they started with some nausea slander. And I did not appreciate the the fat shaming <laughs> as a big guy myself. <laughs> uh, other than that, no, nah, it's, it's all good. Um, no, I was having a fun time watching them, so it wasn't like too hardcore listening. But I mean, I got a little bit of correlation, nothing crazy. A bunch of good players, though. So we'll see how it see how it turns out. It could it could uh, it could take down you know first or second in, the, in this little league, and then once you're in the playoffs, I mean, you never know. You literally never know who's going to be good in the playoffs. At least that's what it feels like. 
I did not think that the team that I wanted with was going to be the team that, you know, came out with the dub. So you really just got to spray and pray sometimes a little bit. But this is mainly my – a couple of these rookies. I don't even know how many rookies did I get. One, two, three, four, five. Five rookies. That's not bad. I had six of the winning team. That's not bad. Plus, you know, it is what it is. All right, y'all. It was fun. It was real. It was real fun. Later.